It's going to be really, really tough for him to win a medal here. Wheeler in front by a 2-1 to one score after one round. Haliani not doing much either. You know, this unified team's been a bit of a disappointment so far. They've lost the first five of their bouts here in Barcelona. Yesterday, they had a couple of winners. Their middleweight, Alexander Lebziak, and their heavyweight, Alexei Chudinov, won. But uh, for the most part, they were expected to do better than they have done so far. Midway point of the second round. Wheeler Bonin in Lautel, Louisiana. One hour west of Baton Rouge. And right now, Haliani a little bit quicker as Wheeler had his head down. Good left hand by Haliani. Haliani is a typical Soviet Russian type fighter. And there's a, a caution to Julian Wheeler in that he tries to paw with the lead hand, in his case the right hand because he's a southpaw, to set up a left hand behind it, which is his power punch. He really doesn't use that right hand for very much at all. Haliani trying to work that counter left. Wheeler able to duck away from danger there as we approach the final 30 seconds of this second round. And Julian Wheeler still has not really gotten going here. Aliani just coming in straight ahead. Now he's dropping his hands down. I guess he wants to give Pagliani a different look, but he's right in this fight, Bob, although I don't think that he's really even started his fight yet. Head coach Joe Bird saying throw more punches. You look tentative and you hear these people behind you. We got a good look at the very large USA fans and said, well, they're rooting for you. Now do something. A couple of his teammates here as well. Oscar De La Hoya right behind us. Also Raul Marquez. De La Hoya in action tomorrow night. His first bout. You will see it in its entirety here on the Red Channel. One thing I think we should mention, there was a little swelling under the left eye of Julian Wheeler, and Joe Bird was treating it by just pushing it with his thumb. Most trainers prefer to put a bar, a metal bar, which has been kept in the ice bucket. Some There's a brand called N-Swell. There are other versions of it as well which does a little bit better job of reducing swelling. Well, Julian Wheeler not throwing many punches and Ramazzi Pagliani of the Unified team. And he watches his corner being told to keep quiet. Pagliani has been more aggressive. He has that little stutter step move as he tries to get himself inside and Wheeler doesn't really know how to handle it. Well, he might be having trouble with the southpaw style. I know he's having trouble with that left hand of Pagliani, which keeps finding its way in between his gloves. Well, they told Wheeler between rounds, try to move to your left. Well, that's what you do with a southpaw. You want to be outside his right foot so that you can land your left hook to the body or to the head. Wheeler really hasn't gotten into the right position to fight a southpaw. You can see it right there. That was a perfect illustration. When his feet are in between the feet of Pagliani, he is out of position to land a left hand. And Julian Wheeler looks frustrated. And now they will send Wheeler back to his corner and they'll readjust the headgear. This also gives Joe Bird a few seconds to give some more advice to Julian Wheeler. I don't think he's saying a word. The referee is watching closely. <laughs> and he's reading lips. Wheeler, an E3 class in the U.S. Navy. Station in Virginia Beach, Virginia. But he's just not throwing punches. He seems a little confused. He, see, he has seemed tentative throughout the whole fight. I thought it was nerves at first, and it may have been, but now I just think there's also confusion with how to deal with the style of Pagliani.
And the chance of USA being whistled out, and Wheeler was stunned with a right hand there. And that was the first time Pagliani used his right hand for anything but shaking hands at the beginning of the bout. Twenty-five seconds to go. The United States team 6-0 to this point, but Julian Wheeler is in trouble. Although the score was only 3-3 after two rounds. But I think we saw at least two solid punches from Pagliani, and I didn't really see anything that was solid from Julian Wheeler in this round. And a kneeing caution for Pagliani. The luck has run out for Julian Wheeler. Ramazi Pagliani of the unified team. A winner by a score of 8-4. to four.